Hello everyone, and welcome back to Airport CEO. Today we will continue expanding our services, mostly by offering waste disposal and catering, and that will help balance our budgets. As you can see, we will also do a little bit of decorating, and you might be able to tell that we will also unlock franchise shops, which will be also a little bit of a boost for our finances. I will try my best to stay on top of the garbage situation, but as you might be able to tell, uh, it's not going to be very, very successful. So anyways, let's not waste any more time and let's get into it. And we are back. Alright, in the last episode we managed to get medium flights going and today, well, I think it would be best if we, well, should we focus on decorating or try to build a little bit more permanent setup. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, we don't really have the money for a permanent setup at the moment. So yeah, you know what, let's do a little bit of decorating. But I think over time this place will go away and we will have a little bit more permanent setups in these areas that we are not yet unlocked. So yeah, you know what, let's do a little bit of uh, test decorations, I suppose. now. At the moment, we don't really have the uh, cash flow. Let me see, economy, let me see, take a look at... Right, so yeah, as you can see, cash flow is not the greatest. Well, there is something that we can do about that. Well, mm, we can either fire some staff because, well, let me see, yeah, right here, we have a little bit of an overflow of, for example, ramp agents. Uh, passenger service agents are okay, they will get their jobs, but yeah, for example, we could fire a couple of ramp agents and things like that, but I think instead of firing people, what we will do is, well, we have unlocked these programs in the last episode, and today I would like to take advantage of them. How many administrators do we have? I believe we have eight, right? So admin, yeah, we have eight administrators. I would like to hire at least two more. Uh, let me see, who are the... Okay, Rachel, definitely. I don't know, Nina is a little bit too unskilled. But Dimitri, maybe. Mm, he has good skills, but you know what? Any, any, anyone below 20 are acceptable, I think. Yeah. Okay, so now we have enough people. What we need to do next is go into the projects and, well, we can use these programs to lower our operating costs. So, for example, we can lower the salary. If we hover over this one, it says every uh, administrator assigned to this project is lowering our overall salary by 5%. It will take a bit of time to ramp up, but in the long run, it's going to be amazing for us. So, wait, let me just check which is the biggest expenditure at the moment. Okay, staff salaries are not a big factor, only 500 per hour. Vehicle operations are, but in under operations, yeah, operating costs. Okay, what I will do is lower the operating costs. Is this just the upkeep? Operations cost, salary, yeah, so basically upkeep. That is what we will take care of. Unfortunately, we can only assign five people to these, but that is, well, five more than zero, right? That will give us 25% reduction and yeah, that is not uh, unsubstantial. Also, hmm, we have five more people that we can use for research. These franchise shops would, or, or basically, yeah, shops would also be a great way of income. Let me see, which one unlocks the automatic which I call it uh, repairs. Mm, I'm not sure. Anyways, we can also unlock some other 
um, services that we can offer to our customers, basically the airlines. So for example, uh, cabin cleaning is my, this, this might be something that we can uh, do for them. Yeah, I think this only really applies to medium. I'm not 100% sure. But anyways, it's only a single building and a couple of trucks. And that is all we really need to do. Maybe we need to uh, contract a waste disposal company, but I'm not 100% sure. Anyways, only 12 hours. It requires five administrators to go at full speed. So this should be done in half a day. Okay, well, might as well speed things up. And let's see what we can do in terms of decorations. Well, I was thinking that maybe here... Hmm, okay. I will destroy the security exit for a second. And I think I will move it back a little bit. So quickly take care of it. Yeah, people will be stuck for a couple hours, but I think they are going to be okay. Okay, next I will... Let me see, how far can we do it? Okay, a single tile above the thicker line. So basically, it needs to end here. Right. So I will put in the exit right there. Good, and I will actually build some walls next, like this. All the way down. So basically we are going to have a nice long corridor exiting the security area and usually, at least in the airports that I have visited previously, they tend to have a door uh, exiting the security area like this. So yeah, might as well do it like this. Okay, I will also extend the... Well, technically we could have the security be here, but you know what, I think um, it makes sense to leave a little bit of space. So, for example, later if we have shops unlocked, we could have a shop that people have to walk through, like in uh, real airports. So they are, you know, forced to look at some uh, duty-free stuff. Okay, so I will, for now I will just extend the queues, that's going to be okay. This looks, I think, pretty okay to me. Um, oh, right. While I was editing the episode the last time, I think I would like to have a couple sofas in the employee lounge here and here. I think that makes sense. Stop. Uh, ramp agent servicing Nordic vintage flight, whatever. What was that? Not airworthy. Well, we have the what you call it, the hangers, so they should be okay. Let me take a look. Okay, so this one. Let's pick things up. Okay, so it should be taken to the hangar, right? Let me see. So rampage and servicing da -da 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 -da. cancelled. Maintenance at the hangar. Okay, yeah, fine. So it should be okay. As soon as the traffic is clear on the taxiway, it should come here, get serviced, and we can release him. There we go. Yeah, it is smoking. In you go. I'm going to repair. Um, well, hopefully the service technician can actually reach this place. I'm not 100% sure if they can. Well, either way, I will leave it alone. Even if you fail, it's just a little bit of a fine. That's not going to be the end of the world, I suppose. Anyways, um, so yeah, I put in some seating for the employees. That's going to be okay. Um, well, I don't think I will extend this terminal any more than this. So, you know what? What I will do is set up a bit of a... Hmm, let me see. Something like this. Pieces of walls in between the check-in desks. Then something like this. So the employee section is walled off. And 
Uh, let's have a small staff room here for the uh, staff manning the desks. Okay, then a simple wooden door here and I suppose here. Let's give them some windows as well, might as well. There and there, that's good. Okay, yeah. It's um, right now it is uh, not present so people can walk through, but that will be fixed in a second. Anyways, this is going to be a staff room. Um, should we extend the queue zones for these? Hmm. I think that's going to be okay like this. Yeah. Uh, I will add a couple of seats for the employees. Let me see. Mm, I don't know. Yeah, pretty simple, but it works. Next, you know, as you might expect, I would like to have some wooden floors. Just like this and just like this. Good. Okay, um, now about these queues. Well, I was kind of wish that we could have turns in the queues right away. Basically, we have to have this straight piece here, so... I don't think that's great. Let me see. One, two, 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 two. Okay. If we go this way, yeah, we can have it end there. What about you? Mm. Yeah, I really boxed myself in. That's not great. Okay, you know what? I think this toilet is going away. I don't think it really fits into this place. Yeah, don't worry about the delays on the flights. We have plenty of room in between flights, so yeah, they can deal with it. Okay, let me put back the default textures. I believe it's this one, marble. Yeah, there we go. Good, okay. Well, in that case, I will actually have this one facing this way. And I think it would make more sense if it was actually only two tiles wide. Yeah, something like this. Well, we could speed up the boarding time for these guys by adding one more check-in, or sorry, boarding desks. But should we? Only really the small crafts, as far as I can tell. The medium ones should be able to cope with the demand a little bit better, I think. Okay, fine. Um, now, as I was saying... Maybe we can put in some... Decorations for these queues. Um, also, speaking of these queues, I think it would actually make sense to have these flight information displays right next to the queues. Ah, I wish it was only one tile wide. It would fit in right here perfectly. Okay, fine. We'll have one here and... Mm, okay, this toilet is going away as well. We will have to move it up. We will build new ones in a second, but for now these are not really in a good position. So as I was saying, I would like to have light information displays here and here. I think that makes sense. Uh, 
right okay and here in this corner we will have the uh, check-in areas toilet i think and this time i will make it a little bit bigger than it was before The stalls will be up against the longest wall. We will have things on this wall and two hand drying stations here and here. Yeah, and since we have a little bit of extra space, might as well put in some decorations, so uh, two ferns in the corners. Yeah, okay, open. And let's just go with the already established flooring pattern, just like this. Good. Okay. Also, why is no one cleaning this place? What about our janitors? Hmm. They are really struggling at the moment. Should we hire one more? Well, our money is going up, so you know what? Yeah. Salary is not really a big issue at the moment, so I think we can afford it. Let me see. Hire one janitor. Don't go too high. Yeah, Robert will be fine. Okay. Well, later on, I think we can have... Wait, wait, wait. What is this color here? Do we have step zone? No? Is that the floor texture? I want to use the marble. There we go, okay. I think I used maybe this one, light concrete, I don't know. Anyways, later on I think we can have some shops here and maybe here as well. And well, if you can squeeze one in here too. Okay, I think we are pretty much good. Now, about the textures. Hmm. I would like... Hmm. These are carpets, right? Yeah, mats. These are really only meant for lounges and places like that. Uh, wooden floors are really not good for high traffic areas. So it has to be some kind of a stone floor i suppose hmm. this one is too fancy this is mostly for sterile areas hmm. what about using these basically plain looking marbles hmm. i think this might work actually let's have light brown as the walkways Okay, I will move these seats in a little bit, but first I want to lay down the actual pets that they, well, what the people should theoretically follow, but, well, they are not really going to follow it, but, you know, um, here as well, these are meant to be queuing areas, I suppose we can have them enter it like this. Okay, next, we will need to actually enter the security area, so there and there, we will have the pathways going through like this and enter the queue, uh, security queuing like this, okay, and exit goes this way, right. Okay, how is the workload at the moment? Okay, passenger service agents are not really being used all that much. You know what? Let's just add one more uh, boarding desk for each of these. I think that will actually do us some good. I cannot really control uh, which kind of airplane goes here because it's... Uh, we could micromanage it, but I think that's a little bit too much. 
So what we will do is add a small boarding desk on the other side of these gates. Yeah, I will deal with the seating in a little bit, don't worry. Now about these seatings, alright. Hmm. Also, yeah, things are really dirty. Jeez, the janitors are really struggling. Let me hire at least, I think, two more. Okay, Nicole, definitely. And everyone else is a little bit too pricey. Okay, I will reject everyone and let's get a new batch of uh, applicants. Yeah, he will do perfectly fine. Okay, now we should have, yeah, we have quite a few, uh, sorry, that wasn't administrators, janitors. So we have <clears throat> only seven. Okay, let's hire one more. Let's go with... Um, yeah, Dennis will do. Okay, so we have eight janitors at the moment. Hopefully they will be able to keep on top of, this, of these uh, cleaning jobs. Okay, let's deal with these real quick. Mm, I will move it out of the way. Let's have this one here. This one... Okay, we will move this one out of the way as well. You can be here. Okay, fine. This will have to be okay. Alright. Alright, we also need to actually assign these desks to the gate. As, yeah, the stands, I mean. So they can actually be used for what we need them to do. And there we go. Alright. So boarding on these planes should be a lot faster, so they should have a better turnaround rate at this point. Okay, I'm also not happy with the way these are laid out. So let me take a look at the finances now. So, overview. Yeah, our operating costs went down enough that we are in the green at the moment, but it's still not great. You know what, yeah, let's hire a, whatchamacallit, a CFO, so uh, executives, CFO, now, mm, how important is skill for the executives? I think I will actually go for Suzanne and let's see if that impacts anything important. So economy. I will do a bit of jiggery pokery with the fees. So, for example, small aircrafts, when they land or take off, instead of paying 500, you will have to pay 600. By the way, how is the research? Okay, that's done. Next, I will get started on the catering services. That is also a service that we can offer to the airlines. Uh, yeah, all five people, please. Thank you. Now, I'll get back to the fees. Okay, um, so we are using two tile-wide uh, pathways at the moment. Also, yeah, this place is not being cleaned up. Let me take a look. Janitors. Yeah, they are really struggling still. People are a little bit messy. But hopefully this will be taken care of soon. Also, the service... Uh, passenger service agents are, I think, relatively well balanced at the moment. We only had a single job available, so I think we are 
yeah, single job available. So that isn't uh, two. I think that's okay. Four. That's still acceptable. Yeah. Okay. Mm. I think the outer edges need to be a little bit darker. So what I will do is add concrete, black marble, right around the edges like this. Right, okay. Mm, I think I'm okay with this. Uh -huh. Alright, um, we could extend the queues, but I think this is good enough. Okay, so later on, if we can squeeze in some shops here and here, then we will do so, but for now, I will leave these places like this. Okay, um, how is the finances? Economy, budget. Yeah, it's still not the best, but I think it's going to be okay. Oh, right, we can also negotiate better contracts. Also, we could dismiss some of the uh, construction workers. Let me see, so the maximum is 40. I think I will keep 20 of them around. Yeah. You know what? No, no, no. Send everyone home. I think I will actually get a better contract. So right now we are using Brickly. And they are 5.6 per hour. If we want to use Blue Build, they will be 3.9 per hour. Uh... This one 3.7, this one 4.2, okay, I think I will switch over to these guys. Yeah, okay, Brickley, you are released. I would like to use these guys instead, right? And I don't think we can negotiate just yet, right? Yeah, we have to wait a little bit before we can negotiate better prices. Um, I will keep, I don't know, I think yeah, 20 contractors, that's going to be fine. Uh -huh. Now about our existing, uh, should we go for a better aviation supply, uh, fuel supplier? So these guys are... 1.36 and 0.29 We could go for Chevron Oh yeah, 1.15 and 0.19 Who else? These guys and 1.02, that's a lot better Total 1.01 .01. Okay I think heavy fuel is going away. Yes, please. And they will be replaced by total. Right. Once we are able, we will uh, negotiate better prices, but this will be okay for now. As for the airlines, uh, I don't really want to cancel these guys because we have lots of flights already scheduled. So I think I will actually just negotiate. So, negotiation are basically, we can try to get better prices, but they will not like it too much. Let me see, are they offering, yeah, they are offering medium flights as well. Let's go for this much. And we have some negotiation points stored up. So, I will go for, that's too much, okay. I think I will go for maybe this much no that's even too much yeah let's keep it safe yeah let's do it slowly we will do better prices in the next run or maybe well let's go for it like this 
yeah, 80%. Fingers crossed. Accepted. Great. Okay, let's do this for the other uh, airlines as well. Okay, I think these will be okay for the time being. Okay, we got, now we are over half a million, so our finances are slowly recovering. That's great. How is the flight schedule, by the way? Yeah, the automatic planning is a little bit more chaotic, but I think that's going to be okay. We don't really need to have a well-organized system as long as we have everything more or less booked up. Uh, we do have quite a bit of uh, capacity left, so we could extend our um, number of stands, but before we do that, I think what I will do actually is, let me see, aircraft infrastructure, yeah, there we go. I would like to take care of the waste disposal. I would like this one actually to be relatively close to the Hmm. Ideally, it should be somewhere around here, but the uh, the fire station and the ambulance are in the way. Okay, fine. I suppose it can be here. Okay, I will build it there. Let's hook it up to the road network, so service roads there. And no, no, there, good. Now I believe we will have to buy some garbage trucks and that's about it, right? So contractors, de-icing, catering. Okay, we don't really, I don't think we need to deal with the garbage pickups. Stop, stop, stop. Um, unspecified assistance. Who? Let me see. Do we have mm, next half an hour? And it is a how about the size? Medium class. Okay. Ay ay ay. To accommodate this, we will have to cancel this flight. Okay, I think that will have to be done. Have to be done. Yeah. Wait, what is the penalty for this? Let me take a look. Might as well test it, right? So budget overview. Other expenses. No, that's construction. It doesn't really say. Administrative fines, okay. It was only a couple less than 200, so I think we can deal with that. Okay, accept. And we will schedule this one right away. This will have to be. Excuse me? Why don't you want to have scheduling here? It's not too late. Hmm. It's still a thing that we have a flight scheduled there. Okay, I don't think... This is a medium one, so it has to go into that stand because that is what we can accommodate it, so... Hmm. Okay, for some reason it doesn't want to be accepted. And it doesn't really say... Mm. Oh well, we tried. Wait, failed. Uh, that is not great. That is why we cannot... Okay, I guess we'll just get a report later on. Oh well, we tried. Anyways, 
I will buy a couple of vehicles. So not oh, there we go here. Cabin cleaning truck. There we go. That's it. I will get two of them. I don't remember. Can we assign them to the stands or do we have to keep them in the waste depot? Uh, I don't remember. Well, they should arrive any second now. And then I guess we will check. Okay, there's the first one. For some reason the other one turned around, but there we go. Okay. So no, you guys will... Can you station... No? Okay. Can you go here? Okay, connection not possible. Fine. You can be in a depot. So I suppose they will pick up the garbage from the planes, take it here, and once it's full, then the outside services will come and pick it up. Okay, I think we can start offering aircraft cleaning services. Okay, so from now on, when big planes arrive, they will be cleaned and we will get a little bit of extra money from them that way. Good. Now, aircraft catering services. For that one, we need a catering depot, a catering supplier, and uh, at least one catering truck. Okay. Hmm. Aircraft infrastructure. There we go. Catering depot. I think, yeah, the right side needs to be hooked up to the general road network and the two on the left side needs to be on the service roads well in that case ooh, i think this will work actually okay just behind the atc tower good okay in you go so that means that we will have service road like this and like this and general asphalt roads we will split off yeah i suppose here and there we go good flight monitor Yeah, we are a little bit behind behind schedule on these guys. Oh well. Also, uh, can I do the a research for automated? You see, concrete? No, that's not. I think it's maybe behind structural engineering. Let's get working. Uh, let, let's get going on the structural engineering and i think after this one we can do uh, preemptive uh, servicing okay so as soon as this one is hooked up i might, might as well just go ahead and buy the catering trucks yeah i think two will be plenty enough I think even a little bit too much, but that's fine. And that it, right. Okay. Uh, technically, at this point, we could also start offering uh, jet fuel. Because right now we are only offering this. Hmm. What about these guys? Are they using... They should be using F-Gas, right? Because they are small. Uh, it doesn't really say... Oh, there we go. Requested services. They are not requesting um, fuel because... What about you? Also, no. Hmm. DC-3 is a prop aircraft, so I don't know why they are requesting jet fuel. But I'm not going to argue. Well, apparently these are only really meant for general aviation, I guess. Well, that's fine. We can keep it around. I will build a jet depot, a jet fuel depot. That is, there we go, the Jet A1. Uh, ideally, it should also be 
relatively close to the depot, so yeah, right here. Behind the other one, service roads just like this. I might as well put in the textures right now. Just like that. I, well, our fuel supplier should be able to take care of it for us, so they will fill up this depot. But we still need to have trucks, so I will buy two Jet A1 delivery trucks. Now, I don't think we can station them at the stands either. Yeah, let's just repair this, by the way. What about these? Uh, not great. Anyways, catering trucks. I don't think we can have these stationed. Yeah, we can't. Fine. They will... Oh, right, 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 right. We need a contract for a catering supplier. There. Um, Gate Gourmet... Sky Garden or this one, Cathay, um, 0 0.99, 0 0.8, what about this one, 0.81, uh, 2600, 2700 or 2700 okay i think we are going to go for sky garden they are the cheapest and they offer a pretty good uh supply of food okay that's good and do we need anyone else de-icing not yet aviation fuel that's fine contractors airlines okay so i think that's good i think at this point we can start offering catering services yeah let's do it that's extra money for us and let me take a look do we have the trucks yet catering trucks and yeah we have the jet trucks and wait we don't have the fuel yet are you guys full okay they have the fuel already loaded so that's fine we can start offering jet fuel services and there we go great Oh, there we go. This is what I was looking for. Proactive uh, repairs. And this requires proactive maintenance research. Okay. So I don't know where that is it. Where, where that is. I suspect it, it's under uh, structural engineering or behind structural engineering. Well, I guess we will see in a bit. I think I will actually set this one to, I don't know, 80%. So we get a garbage pickup a little bit more frequently. So we are not uh, at the danger of overflow. I think that's going to be better for us. Let's take a look. Bedroom facilities. Ah, that's fine. The service technician should take care of it. Not here. Where did that happen? Was it fixed already? No. Oh, right here. Oof. That doesn't look great, but the... Yeah, the service guys took care of it real quick, relatively quickly, so... Yeah, problem solved. Great. Uh, what is the incident report? A. No finds. Great. Happy to see it. Also, let's take a look. Okay, it is not actually... Let me see. Oh, there we go. Oh, it's under Project Group 2. Let's take care of this real quick. Okay. Oh, right. We did progress in the... A tutorial because we took care of the jet fuel next hire a strategy direct director okay yeah might as well continue with the tutorial too although at this point it's a little bit hands-off anyways uh, staff 
executive we need a strategy director mm, they are a little bit too pricey for my liking also i don't think having unqualified uh, executives is really a big deal because suzanne is super low skill but i don't think it impacted our finances too much so i think we are okay anyways um yeah she will be okay so we have a strategy director we need to do the franchise shop research okay well after this one of course anyways current output of this upkeep reduction is 23 percent um, I think this is because of the skill of our administrators. Let me see. Admin, everyone is as high skilled as possible at the moment. So yeah, we can squeeze 23% out of them. That is still pretty good. Let's do a little bit of work on these I think that's going to be okay. For now, I will move this one and this one out of the way. Okay, I will preemptively... Well, should we put in one more check-in desk? Or, sorry, boarding desk. Uh, things are happening a little bit too slowly for my liking, if I'm completely honest. But we don't really see... And delays on the medium planes all that much so you know what i think a single desk will be just fine yeah well just as i say that we have a delay on this one boarding has started why not Passenger service agents are not busy, so... Uh, and we also only have a single... There we go. Now we have two guys here. Okay, I will leave it alone for now. But I would like to redo the windows here a little bit. So I will move these the chairs out of the way. Like that. And I will rethink the way the windows are laid out. There we go. I think this long window can be one tile closer to the desk, so basically people cannot walk around, even though they don't never they never really do that, but still I want to you know make it look believable. So what I will do is have the window more like this. And what about the small windows? Ah. Yeah, I think this will do. Okay, then the wall will be moved up here and here, that's fine. Let's ex uh, put back the security zone real quick, just like that. And I think that's good. Okay. Um, well, let me see. Technically speaking, we could separate the departures and the arrivals so basically the arrivals wouldn't need to walk through the check-in or the boarding desk that might make a little bit more sense than we have at the moment but ah, it's fine okay let's do the same thing on this side as well how's the research okay it's done so I will get started on the franchise shops. That shouldn't take too long. And there we go. Okay, so the windows. Let me take care of these real quick. Unfortunately, we can't remove them, so we'll have to demolish them and put them back once again. Also, a single piece of wall goes here. Right now, the edges are cut off but if you put a single uh, wall piece there it will look a little bit more complete also i just noticed we need to have more security on that corner okay <clears throat> oh right because of these this wall was moved okay 
there we go so as i was saying i would like to have a small window here and a long window like this yeah wall and wall and wall and that's it done so now the boarding looks a little bit more believable i think i suppose okay mm. Uh, the research 25% yeah this will be taken care of relatively quickly uh, we could have another project but we don't have enough administrators so it's fine what about the finances yeah as you might be able to see our finances are going up but at a relatively slow, uh, slow rate the only real way of dealing with this uh, financial situation is to have more planes well let me just check hmm i think we can actually squeeze in a couple of small stands here for general aviation i think that would make sense let me check so yeah stands small ones something like this we just need to uh, get rid of a couple of roads hmm let me check something Let me see, so if we can, one, two, three, and we can squeeze in four. But there is one thing I want to check. Let's build this one. And if I build service roads that are not attached here, but instead here, what will happen that uh, in that case? I would like to see. Also, how are the income? So aircraft. Yeah, aviation fuel sales are up. That is great. Catering. Well, we are not making a lot of money from that, but every little helps, I suppose. Okay, so yeah, as you can see, it only really makes sense to attach these roads on this side. We can't really do it from down below. Okay, fine. In that case, and this one can be demolished. Oh, sorry. Turn off and then demolish. Well, in that case, what we will need to do is get rid of these roads and put in aircraft stands well technically we could build a small general aviation airport somewhere out of the way that would also work but you know sooner or later this place will be turned into a small um, local airfield and we will have a proper international airport i suppose here i guess so yeah, I think we can keep this around, that's going to be fine. Anyways, we just need this and that should be it. Okay, and don't forget to actually hook up the taxiways. Good, and as soon as they are built, they will be... No, no. Not for general aviation, they are meant for... Oh, sorry, not for commercial aviation. They are meant for general aviation. <laughs> so, not email, operations, yeah, general aviation. What about... Oh, there we go. So now... Okay, now they're operational. Good. So far, so good. So this will give us a little bit of extra income. And we have the shops available at this point um i think these are very very small so i would expect to have a very good return only 32 square meters let me see is that even enough for a small shop let's take a look uh where is the square footage okay 32 is good enough 
Let me see, what is the most ideal prop for this? Two star, no, that's way too much space requirement. U74, that's too much. Okay, we can only really have uh, one star shops here, but that's fine. Okay, so they will require, let me see, one shop and one ca cashier desk. What about you? One sh uh, shelf, two shelves, and one shelf. Okay, I think I will build two shelving areas, I suppose. So, shops. Now for the shelves. Um, huh, let me see. You know what? A single shelf will be fine. Yeah. There and a cashier's desk. Now I always forget which way it, these guys are facing. I think... Yeah, I think the cashiers will be standing on the right. If I remember correctly. I think so. If not, I suppose we can turn them around. Anyways... Is this good enough? Oh, it, it's good enough for Turner. So they will be 17 per hour. Uh, quick shop, uh, sorry, quick stop, 36 per hour. Uh, Remo 1017. Okay, I think we are going to go for quick stop because they offer the best value for money. Sign. Okay, well, they will supply the cashier, so we don't need to worry about that. Okay, I think at this point it is uh, basically autonomous, we don't need to worry about these guys anymore. And we should be able to do the same thing here. So I will go ahead and put in one more shop, and after that we will say goodbye. Because we are over time at this point. So I will put in one more, yeah, like this, and a cashier's, cashier's desk, I suppose, this way. Let me take a look. Oh, right, it's night time, so we don't have these shops open at the moment. Anyways, let me quickly take care of this. And as I have said, after that we will say goodbye, so 17 per hour. 17 and that's the best we can do at the moment yeah these are very very small shops so don't expect anything special from these uh, let me see the other one two for 18 yeah that's not worth it yeah okay i will go for remo 1000 sure Oh, there we go. So, yeah, the ca cashiers will stand on that side of the desk. Okay. Um, and the next tutorial message uh, tutorial is going to be baggage handling. That is a very, very big project. So, I think I will not do them on these terminals. They will be dealt with at the final place, I think. So, yeah. I think I will close the tutorials for now. Anything else we want to do? We could also extend uh, general aviation parking here a little bit if you wanted to. But I think this will be okay for now. So yeah, over time this place will be turned into a small local airfield. Uh, possibly somewhere here and we are going to have a proper big international airport right here possibly we are going to have one yeah we are going to have one runway for landings one runway for taking off and all that kind of stuff so yeah i think for now i will say that thank you for watching if you like the video, you can leave a like, leave a comment and maybe subscribe to the channel if you want. If you would like to support me a little bit more, you can do so by clicking the join button and becoming a channel member.
which will give you an early and ad-free access to these videos. Once again, thank you for watching and thank you very much for your support. I will see you in the next one. Thank you and goodbye.